Row, row, row your boat. And I'd like to start off by saying, you know, we're all in the same world. All of us are riding the same waves that life is giving us. All the, the waves and the tides of uncertainty, we're all on the same one. However, not everyone is in the same boat. And the most important thing is not the elements of life, how rough the waves are, the conditions, the circumstances, or the challenges that we might be adrift upon. The most important thing, the most important thing to make sure of this morning, to make sure of this morning, is that you are in the boat with Jesus. Are you in the boat with Jesus? Are you in the boat with Jesus? Are you in the right boat? Are you in the boat with God? Are you in your own boat? Are you in somebody else's boat? And be careful to answer too quickly. Noah was on a bit of a boat. And for the record, let me just clarify, it was not Noah's ark, it was God's ark. The ark was not built to Noah's specifications. The ark was built God's way to God's specifications for God's purposes, and guess what? It worked. Your boat's not gonna work. Our boat's not gonna work. The great American enterprise, the boat, is sinking. It's not gonna float. But if you're on the boat with Jesus, it's gonna sail through. God is not getting on your boat. If you are to be saved, if you are to be rescued, if you are to be delivered, if you are to be preserved, you have to get on God's boat. And you do not get to change the specifications once you get on. Isn't it amazing how we accept the specifications of God once we get on the boat? But then we want to start changing them. Well, you know, I'm not sure if the Lord meant that. You do not get to change His specifications, His blueprints, His measurements to make, to make, to make your journey more comfortable according, according, according to you. It's not my ark. It's not your ark. It's not our ark, it's not America's ark, it's not Israel's ark, it's not Noah's ark, it's God's ark. It's a storm, it's a storm of eternal proportions that is coming. And you're beginning to feel the light breeze lights blow across your life. And God will not protect you. He will not protect you from the waves, the tribulations, the difficulties, the struggles, the uncertainty. But he has made an ark by which you may escape. And that ark's name is Jesus. We accept him according to the Lord's specification, according to the Lord's blueprint, the Lord's measurement, the Lord's design, the Lord's layout, not mine, not yours. Because if you try to re-specify or create new specifications according to Christ, friend, you're on the wrong boat. Jesus is humanity's ark and there is no other. Jesus himself said, no one comes to the Father except by me. Not even the best person in the room. You're out of luck.